lot of you might do this in your garage. I'm a woodworker, so my shop is full of material right now. So I figured I'd bring my tool bag out here and uh, just do it in the lawn. It's a nice enough day. I will say this thing is a little bit heavy. I do recommend a two-man lift on the box. You can order this right off powersmart.com or you can get it through the Amazon link, which I'll have some Amazon links provided down below. If this is something you want to get, you guys shop through that Amazon link, help support the channel, and uh, I greatly appreciate it. Giving us some oil, got a wrench and a funnel, a bagger, a little shroud around the motor here. The engine just says Power Smart on it. Wasn't sure if it would be a Power Smart branded engine or not, but it looks like it is. And a chute. Let's see. Let's see, let's see. I don't think we'll have a ton to assemble on this, which is pretty pretty nice. Getting it out of the box might be difficult. <laughs> let's see. Lift this piece out. necessarily recommend that at home probably gonna throw your back out it's a little heavy <laughs> uh, all right let's see here it looks pretty straightforward to be honest as far as assembly we will look at those instructions though just to make sure but I got a feeling I got a feeling I got a feeling I know how this is gonna go probably want to see what I'm doing huh so we got this rod no no wiring to it right and we got that one with our handles throttle and all that nut and bolt from right here okay this can just stay in I believe we gotta take the nut and bolt off don't lose them go to the other side push your carriage bolt through undo this one Again, I haven't looked at the manual, guys. I'm guessing these are about half inch nuts on here. Taking that nut and that washer off. Okay, set them here, don't lose them. And this one, we're gonna line up, and put in there and bolt this on first, okay? So I'll set you guys back down. Hopefully you guys be able to see. It's pretty simple though, but I know done some videos as far as like the snowblower reviews for power smart and i had some great feedback a lot of you felt like it was pretty helpful assembling so figured we'd assemble it before we use this as well right let's see here pop that carriage bolt back a little bit one side on Looks like it'll round right with the bar. Put a nut on there just for now. Ooh, keep stepping on that darn handle. Go over here, hold this one in place, put another washer on. This one on as well. Grab our wrench, tighten everything down, and we'll move on to the next piece. All right, guys, so I got these uh, nuts tightened down on those carriage bolts. Took a half inch wrench, like I said. Move up here to put the upper handle in. You don't even need a wrench. You got carriage bolts and these wing nuts. So you gotta take them off the handle all the way, though. Don't lose your parts. Pop 
those off. And we should be able to just pop this handle right down up here like so. Pretty cool. I'm going to take my carriage bolt and from the inside pop it through. We've got square holes on the inside so the carriage bolt will go right in place. Put the bolt in for now on both sides so it'll kind of help hold that a little. Put your washer on, wing nut, you know for something you can order offline this is seems to be pretty simple for assembly. We only needed a half inch wrench and that was it. Everything else already comes ready to go. Alright, so there's my clip. This is going to be for over here on this side, which I guess I'm not really sure. Oh, this is for our pull rope. But over here we're going to put this on, and this will help hold our wires and stuff so they're not in the way. Our Say our wires, our cables. Sorry, got you guys jostling all over the place here, huh? Sorry guys, pop your cables in here like so close this it's supposed to close maybe not one hand and we should be able to just pop this right on like that so there it is in place maneuver those cables around lock that down right organized good to go all right that rip cord pull cord up here so I'm just going to pull it slow. And that's in place. Take this little tag off. Recommended use for oil. Don't start without oil. Alright, that's why we didn't just rip on it. So now i got to come over here. This is your oil, right? That's where your oil goes. Pull our little dipstick out of there. Grab the oil they provided. Grab that nice long funnel they provided. Pop that in. And uh, open this up, let's fill her up. Man, after that, I think we'll probably be almost ready to, to go. There are a couple features I'm going to go over with you guys before we actually fire it, though, just so you guys can see. Then full. Good to go. So while we're right here, we have that chute that can go on. All you got to do is lift this, and the chute pops on the side. Another great, like, one-handed feature I noticed is your height adjustment. You grab this lever, pull out and back, and we just raised it. Pull out, back, and up, and we just raised the whole machine. It's actually pretty simple. might look difficult because I'm holding this camera, but pretty easy. Now this lever opens up a flap on the inside so you can use the bag. I'll show you what this looks like. This is where... Your bagger goes and you open it and you see that little square square box pull that lever i just showed you open it up put your bag around now everything goes into the bagger it's pretty nice close it like that you could even leave your bagger on i guess and uh put the chute on and everything will blow out the chute so i'm gonna put some gas in this and uh We'll make some passes down the lawn and see how she does. All right, guys, we're going to get ready to start this. We'll make a couple passes down using just the chute, and then we'll do the baggers so we can see how well that works. Now, I got the chute on here. Pretty simple. All right, it just falls off, but there's two little, little pins in there, and you just clip it up in. 
makes sense when you can see it. I know you couldn't see it because my hand's in the way. I'm trying to do it one hand. Uh, the bagger, again, very simple. This lever, this piece flips up and the bag sits in there. Close it down, you're good. Remember, it tells you right here. All right, close. So the bagger's closed. Open. The bagger door's open. All right. I already put some gas in it. Remember, do not mix your gas. This takes regular gasoline. That's why you have an oil reserve for oil. This is not a two stroke, this is a four stroke. All right. So we come down here, push to prime three times, and then uh, we'll pull her over. I'm gonna set you guys aside so you can watch, and I will see if she fires right up. can see me I'm priming at three four times this time it's got to get more gas up through the carburetor in that system I assume Starting coil slipped right out, went all the way down inside. Huh. Alright, well we got that back up here. Starter coil. Let's see if she'll fire up before we prime it. Nothing yet. Another one, two, three. Hey guys, who went and got the manual? I mean, we're starting it like any push mower. There's really no reason for it to be stalling at this point, other than we're not getting fuel um, through the lines all the way. So, I'm just going to pull this off, look at the air cleaner. Nothing in there blocking it, which is a plus. Could be just deal doing this because it's brand new, you know, things aren't uh, primed with gas quite yet. So, let's try it again. Four, five, I'm going to go six this time. We'll push it and see what happens. Shut it off that time. I want to see if it'll fire right back up for us. Hmm. So we had it running. One, two, three again.
All right, so we made pass down and back with just the uh, the chute on the side. And we did down and back here with just the bagger. And I'd say that bagger works pretty well. We collected a lot of stuff. Nice, very nice. So it took a little bit to get it running, guys. I think it just had to get everything primed, you know, getting gas up through everything, getting that motor primed and ready to go. I just took that bagger off, but you guys get a better look. I had a lot, it's pretty tall back there. It gets pretty sick down in the back. Nice little mower though. You know, as usual, time will tell, but I'll, uh, I'll be using it through the summer. We'll do an update, you know, maybe in a few weeks on it. If you guys are interested, I know some people really do enjoy watching the reviews as we've done their snow blowers and some other things from Power Smart, their generator and stuff like that, which I use for on-site chainsaw carving, and that thing works great. Now, just another little quick thing so you guys can see. While I was down there, I decided the height was too high on the mower because it was back here. So I just dropped it. It's that simple. One hand, it drops the front in the back all at one that's what this bar and spring is it drops those front wheels for you one motion um and then the bagger that's what i was doing while it was running reached down here moved it turned the bagger on bagger off so, uh hopefully you guys enjoyed the video be sure to give me a thumbs up and hit subscribe when you guys hit subscribe hit that bell hit all you know we do machine reviews power tool reviews stuff like that but we also do a lot of chainsaw carving on this channel uh, chainsaw how-to videos and things like that so be sure to check those out as well if you're into that really do appreciate you guys watching don't forget check out the links down below where you can purchase your own power smart 200 cc 22 inch lawnmower hope you guys have an awesome day and i'll see you later bye